And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So, last time we finished um, the first world, this time we are in Everbay Coast and we're going to start off with Abandoned Beach. You know, as opposed to all of the other beaches and all of the other locations, which are definitely not abandoned. This is a very, uh, a very Kirby water theme. Doesn't seem like we can freeze the water though. Can I go under the water? Under the sea, no? Also, um, yeah, ice shield. That's neat. There we go. Crack open three knock-knock nuts. Now I'm just thinking knock-knock. Who's there? These nuts. Oh wait. Let's take a nap, guys. Let's do it. It restores health! It restores health in this game. Awesome. Big ol' gator. Well. Oh, there we go. I thought I... I thought I, um... Knocked it too far off there, but I guess not. Why does Kirby need a floaty? He's a pocket full of air. I mean... He, he's probably not quite as buoyant as you would figure, because... I mean, he, he can swim underwater. He doesn't, like, automatically float, so... Is there anything over here? That no, doesn't look like it. We got Chakrams and we have Volcano. Well, let's keep with Chakrams, I think. Generally, I think I'll, I'll keep to, um... Oh, Wild Bonkers, okay. Well, you know what that means. I'll keep to just kind of allow the allow the uh, game to keep flowing and move on to any mini bosses that we find. But for bosses, I will ask, what ability do you want do you want to see? Time for bonking! Oh yes. So I wonder if this hammer... Okay. That doesn't seem to have the thing where you can actually, like, throw the hammer and get rid of it that way. Ooh, you and the duker. Oh my. I'm hearing a Waddle Dee nearby. Also, the Wall D sounds a little bit like friggin' Tootie from uh, Banjo Kazooie. Okay. There we go.
Which, by the way, apparently there is a Banjo-Kazooie randomizer now. And there is someone in the Archipelago server that um, is in contact with them to see if uh, they might be interested in... It's gonna wreck this sculpture for no reason. But yeah, see if they might be interested in actually implementing uh, Banjo Kazooie and Archipelago. And personally, I hope it happens. And if it does, I can't wait to get to get into BK in BK. Yes, I was just trying to make that joke. Oh jeez, oh jeez, get out of there, Kirby. Secret spot here. Also, there is a scarfy on the tail. Please don't do that, sir. That's rude. Hmm. Bam. Lost from the past with that game name. Banjo Kazooie is a good game. It, it can be a little annoying to play at times, but in general, it is pretty good. Okay, so I'm timed. Got it. Got it. This makes your joints hurt. <laughs> You're playing it that hard, I guess. I mean, it's probably the same kind of pain as uh, I experienced uh, playing Cross Code. Ori my my original run through Cross Code using keyboard and mouse rather than controller. Um, that game was so hard on especially my left hand that I actually have like RSI now in the side of my hand. So I'm, de I'm definitely glad that now that I get I'm getting to play it again on Tuesdays that uh, I'm actually able to do it with a, uh, a controller. Oh, I didn't even notice that was a mouthful object there. Here is the real reason why we have this. Oh dear. Alright. This puts us back here, it's fine. I was implying that oh that you're getting older, gotcha. I mean, yeah, you're you're not wrong there too. Oh, this is This is unfortunate controls. Like th this is kind of the opposite of what you would expect, I think. And especially if you want to use your Okay. There we go. Actually, no. I think it, it's the opposite of what I was expecting specifically. Now that I've gotten around the fact that it's a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be, 
It's fine. Ow. Dang it. Get out of my face. One of your nephews just turned 20. Wow. You know, I just try not to think about it. Because <sighs> it's the thinking about it that's the real trap here. Hmm. I wonder if I can... Yes, I can. Look at that. And there's that last knock-knock nut that I need to knock-knock on. There we go. Well, what's over here? Okay, a couple of Scarfies. By which I mean multiple Scarfies. A perturbing number of Scarfies. Wait, just? Okay, I'm just back here, apparently. So th this was just like the um, not interested in secrets way of getting to the end. Okay, we got all the hidden wall Ds, and we are missing complete the sign on the rooftop. Okay, probably with the, um, probably that mouthful object that I had was like the last piece of that. And this is probably the sign they're talking about. Oh no, this is the car shop, gotcha. This logo uh, belonged to a, an auto shop named Holine Custom Autos, part of Holine Corp. Holin also sold industrial parts, managed construction, made all kinds of stuff. From buildings to streets to amusement park rides, remember, if it's quality, it's Holin. Holin crap, that was a bad slogan. Uh, perhaps it was, would be more accurate. Because this land is forgotten, you see. Cutter, swish, sling that sharp edge boomerang, use it to grab far off items. Hold the button down to freeze it mid-air and charge it up. That'll make it extra powerful. Swish. What are you going to use explain the plot of Resident Evil to me based on the newest game? Do not cite the deep magic to me, which I was there when it was written. Very good take there, Tyrion. <laughs> Alright, Hammer Road, hit the stakes. Out. Down I go. Right before the end. It's fine. There it is. It was there when Resident Evil stopped making sense, which is the first game. There's another one here. Yes, I know that I can rush back to Waddle Village. 
All right, sword challenge time it is. Going down just before the end, gotcha. Looks like this is a combat challenge. That was a weird slowdown, but okay. Probably just like the freeze frame at the end of combat. I mean, I guess cross code does it too, right? You kill the last enemy in a set and it just slows down for a second. Okay, so the big damage is uh, hitting him in the back. That is, however, not the Shinobi way. And I get a perfect score! Doo doo. Fuck. Alright, that's another rare star. Let's search around a little bit. And where should we go next? We should look around. Let's hunt for treasure. I do appreciate games that uh, reward the player for just kind of looking around a little bit. Taking their time. Hmm, this seems to be something interesting here. Oh, there definitely is. Stairs Mouth Treasure. That's a very strange combination of words. Stairs Mouth Treasure. Step it up, moving the stairs. Okay, I think it's want it's wanting me to move this here instead. Put this here. And this goes here. There we go. Oh, there is a lot of them in this room. There. Actually, I probably can't really move that one. Um, put that there. I kind of hope that this is the last one because I don't feel like I'll have the time to do another one.
Okay, they're all in place. There probably was a more efficient way to do that. That was indeed the last one. All right. So with that, let's go to the next stage. And with you, Kirby, everything becomes an adventure. Concrete Isles. <clears throat> Kicking around the beach ball. Greet three seabirds. Which is code for harass three seabirds. Do you have something other than bomb or is it just bomb? It's just bomb. Yeah, let's 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 go with bomb for a little bit. Hammer's pretty good. But uh, let's mix things up. Also, the I, I like how the um, bombs are also on lifesavers. Oh, crash bombs! We get cra We get crash. All right. Well, this is obviously where they want to use that. And, because of the way this game works, I still get to keep Bomb. Make go explodey boom. our first hidden D. Dang. It's interesting how um, bombs don't immediately explode in this game. In fact, they take a while to explode. I mean, they do immediate, immediately explode if they hit something, but if they don't, they just kind of sit there. What is this? Drill. Alright. Oh, so if I drill a circle, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like attacking in knights, honestly. All right, and coming out of the ground counts as an attack. Dang. Let's expand our collection. We have greeted, quote unquote, another seabird.
It's kind of a strange ability. There's a mouthful object there. Don't mind me just looking around. If I have a new Kirby game, I'm going to explore. Okay, so B and Y to change height. Okay, they both... There, There's only high or low. And dig and... See, now this, this dig thing is uh, making me think a little bit of... Um, the next game that's coming out uh, from uh, Yacht Club Games, Mean of the Hollower. Also, you know, not sponsored or anything. People do not give me money to talk about things that I like. And I would not accept that money. But anyway. Yeah, Mean of the Hollower. It's, um... One of, uh, kind of a trend that has uh, started to happen of games where the main hero is a mouse. And you know what? I'm down with that. Alright, so that's two hidden Ds. This doesn't go in the entire line, just half the way. So another five shards to find. This game is really intent on making me use this uh, this drill ability. I think it's a new ability too. Like it's not, it's not something that has never been done at all. Oh. Okay, short range warp star. Cool. Like there is also the mole ability um in that looked weird. In at least a couple of games, at least one game. Okay, so I can jump. Got it. I can jump, I said. There we go. By the way, if I if it oh, I've apparently missed one. Alright. Well I missed one, I missed one. But um Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, dig up a maximum tomato. Nice. This single mouthful thing makes me wonder why no one thought how ugly Kirby looks. We also fail to, to irritate another one of the seabirds and make landfall on the Isle of Treasure. Interesting. That maybe that's where we missed that other Waldy. Poppy Brothers Jr. Bandana Waddle D was pulled through the vortex along with Kirby. When he heard that his fellow Waldies were being captured by the Beast Pack, he grabbed his trusty spear and ran to help. He can join you as player two while you explore the new world. Unfortunately, I don't have a player two with me, so oh well. Also, I have heard that the two-player experience in this game is, uh, it no good. But, uh, 
without having played it without without having played it or seen it um i can't really i can't really comment as to why that is dig and destroy drill trial Old Y. Oh, okay. Dang it. Alright. I think you, what you want me to do is do not that. I need to make a tighter circle around this. There we go. Alright. Bandana D can't have abilities, which, you know, has always been the case. Um, and, oh, and the, str the more you upgrade abilities, the stronger Kirby gets. Gotcha. And, and that kind of leaves Bandana D in the dust. Okay. That was definitely not the thing to do. How did I kill that other one? Oh, the more you upgrade ability is the stronger bandana you get. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I, I misread that because I was focusing on the game. Wow, that was a terrible time. Okay. But, um... Okay, well, at least there is that. Hold down R while you tilt the controls to... Oh! Mm. Kirby got the zoomies. Alright. So clear the stage and save the hidden wall Ds and three other things. Four hidden wall Ds. Scale the cement summit. Hey everybody, you're excited. Secret spot. There's something over here? Nope. <laughs> oh, I get that. Mom. Remove three wanted posters. Okay, so the wanted posters are just posters with an X on them. It's not a very good wanted poster. can involve the needle ability. Oh, 
Oh, there is a thing down there. Let's take care of you first. There we go. Hello, friend. You're safe now. I missed one of your brethren, I hope that's okay. We'll get saved someday. Warp Star. Uh, let's go with Cutter. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that, uh, oh, okay, I accidentally spat my ability at the boss. Well, that's unfortunate. Ow, 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 ow. And I have to fight the old-fashioned way by getting owned, apparently. Oh yeah, if my reactions seem occasionally, like, slightly delayed, I think this is what I was going to say before. Um, I am using a Genki Shadow Cast, which does have, like, a slight, which does cause, like, a slight input delay, which mostly doesn't affect things, but can. Also Tornado. Alright. This is one that we see every so often in Kirby games. First appearance, of course, in Kirby's Adventure. Okay, this is gonna be time. Yeah, I definitely wanted us to use uh, Tornado for that. Well, thanks for coming by, Donut. We appreciate you being here. Hope you have a good sleep. I do remember Kirby 64. Oh, that was masterful. Avoid the spikes in the secret room. Alright. We did the thing. You know, I've never owned a Nintendo 64, but I do have that game. It was for no other reason that then I wanted to... Hmm. This is probably not gonna work. Yeah, that's just gonna get me bomb. I do wonder if there's mix in this. Oh, interesting. Alright. I was gonna fly off into the distance. I can ascend and descend, and I can spin tackle. Oh, I don't like how up is ascend and down is descend. 
Let's... Okay. Inverted control. Good. Alright, I... Ah. You know what this song reminds me of, actually? The theme song to Perfect Strangers. Just that one little bit, the da da da. Standing tall. On the wings of my dreams. Oh, I can retry. Would you like to retry the Arshmouth section from the beginning? Mission progress and collected items will also revert to their prior status. So that is an option. If I want to do it again, I can do it again. That's very good. Give me that coin. I miss a hidden D apparently. Freeze Florina with an ice ability. An ice ability. Oh, I guess it's probably referring to the um, the evolved state of ice. Speaking of ice, burr so cold. Can you see your own breath? Make a chunk of ice, then kick it forward. Skate and slide wherever you go. You'll even glide out right over mud and magma. And the very enemy that gives us ice, Chile. Fast flowing waterworks. So eight more D's. And one more rift. Oh, two more rifts. Alright, let's take a look at those. Tornado treasure. Up and over, across Spike Road. Lost track of myself there. Okay, why, why? There we go. Oh jeez. Eh. Oh. Okay. We got there. A little late, but we got there. And a Chakram Cutter treasure. Fling Twirl Return. Hit the switches. Oh, okay, yeah. Gotcha. Because we got one that goes to the left and one that goes to the right. So that's what you want to do. 
Dang it. <laughs> Got it. No sweat. I'm, I don't need to hit these switches in like a specific amount of time, do I? There we go. And that looks like the end over there. One fourteen ninety eight. Okay, let's move on to our next stage, fast flowing waterworks. Also, I missed what uh, what our buddy had to say again. Five hidden wall D's and three other things. Going over there. I do kind of wish it gave you at least the option to keep the ability that uh, that the rift gave you. Also, I wonder if this is an ability. Nope. It looked like something that could have given you a water ability, but uh, apparently not. Wreck that statue. Never know what hit him. Bye, bomb. Saw a message there. I'll, uh, Read that in a second when everything is not constantly moving. I'm gonna wreck it! Eat three tins of fish. Alright. Wreck it like Ralph. It's like bend it like Beckham, except a lot more destructive. Yeah, now that I do have the ability to record and stream uh, Switch stuff, uh, that definitely means I have to go back and uh, do a full Let's Play of Star Allies. Which is probably going to be on the Low Bias Gaming channel, since that's where I was doing Kirby's All-Star Legend. But... I'll figure that out when uh, when we get there. Ooh. Win the battle without falling into the water. Also got the chain bomb blueprint. came from like 
Is there someone in this world that has like a copy ability? Never bothered to do the other modes after you beat the main story. Some of the other modes in that game are really hard. That stuck there for a second. That was weird. But yeah, like, I have not 100% of that game because just some of it is just kind of brutal, actually. Like, brutal to the point where I just got angry at points. Okay. So we're doing a time trial, got it. So I want to go right, left. And then I think middle? Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't like getting angry at video games, and I especially don't like getting angry at Kirby, of all things. Okay, so I need to mouthful this. And put it over here. I do appreciate how most of the mouthful- you came back, I probably need ice. I appreciate how like most of the mouthful stuff doesn't have any like pageantry to it. It just implies like this is stuff that's going to happen a lot. Find the golden fish, nice. And it's stuff that's going to be very common for this game and we don't really need to spend a whole lot of time with like a transformation sequence or anything like that. And why is this even here? Is there anything behind here? It doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, I did say I could uh, skate like on. Wait. Okay. I see now. I see what you want me to do. Three of your uh, four. And 64 controllers were damaged? Wow. That's impressive. Um, yeah, I want to go up there and see what's up. Man, yeah, like, I, I rarely get angry at video games in general. When I get angry is usually because I feel like the game is being either extremely cheap or completely unreasonable. Yeah, that, that'll do a number on him. Oh wait, there's, yeah, there's another wall D back there. Alright.
Yeah, I can I can definitely feel that there, Tyrion. It's kind of interesting right now in chat. There's a Tyrion and there's a Tyrion. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely dragging me over here. No, I lost my, uh, okay. Got it back. I'm in danger. Three tins of fish. Let's go. Give me the pepper. Pep boys, pills, pepperly sills. All right. Took it out on your older brother. Get up there. No. Okay. Huh. I just noticed, yeah, there, there's the last one. I don't know if I can float over there. Hey, Kirby, please. This is gonna fail. Yeah. Alright, there's something over on the right side there. Okay. There we go. Well, that solves that. Brothers hit those buttons harder. Yeah, the old Nokia phones are not indestructible. They're they're very resistant, but. Um, Put enough force on, on that sucker and uh, won't see it coming. Is there anything over there? No. <sighs> Need to throw it out of Casio. Wait, did I get everything? Hey, look at that. Full clear stage. We got a bomb block. We got this monstrosity. Dome Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire dome into his mouth. Wrap around one of these and twist it until it pops open. Think there's anything good inside? Only one way to find out. All Waddle Dee's saved. Nice. <laughs> he deflected it with his Casio. Yeah. Fell on the ground, hit and broke. The Tropical Terror. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna wreck shit. <laughs> All right, I want to, no, let's, let's, you know what? Yeah, let's head back to town and see that blueprint. We got a couple of them. Just before a boss seems like the time to do this. 
quite frankly. Oh, and what's this? The 50 Waldees you've saved work together to rebuild Waddle Deliveries. Enter present codes to get special items. Well, this is obvious. The 50 Waldees you've saved work together to build Kirby's house. It's your home away from home. The 60 Waddledees you've saved work, and work together to rebuild the Waddle Dee Cafe. How fancy. Wonder what's on the menu. You now play Waddle Dee Cafe Help Wanted. Work fast to serve a line of hungry locals. Oh good. Time management games. The bomb ability can be evolved and the needle ability. But uh, going forward until the end of the stream, I think I'm just going to stick to um, doing the stages so that we can actually finish World 3 as well. Wow, you have so many new, uh, new blueprints to give me. Alright, let me get my tools ready, then we'll get this evolution started. Don't do it, it's a trap. It's a trap. Thanks for waiting. The bomb ability can now be evolved into Chain Bomb. And the Needle ability can now be evolved into Clutter Needle. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and evolve Bomb into Chain Bomb. Chain Bomb, the deadliest Pokemon. Hey, K Kairos. Hope you're doing well tonight. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's not the one. This is the one. So, Clutter Needle is also a thing that we've acquired. Oh, that's... that's fancy. Thought that was bronchitis, I mean wheezing. Especially post-2020. Not really sure what this does differently. Actually, hang on. Okay, the things that fall off actually also do damage. Um, and let's try Chain Bomb. Oh, I got kind of a Plasma Bomb thing going. Notice that? So the there's a chain between those two bombs. So let's go ahead and put one bomb here. And we'll put one bomb here. And we'll wait for those to blow up. Well that was underwhelming. I'm sure it has more of a utility than that, but um, maybe I just did it wrong. Anyway, back to Everbay Coast and let's go fight the boss. Adventures, adventures get me so excited, especially when I'm with you, Kirby. You have a lot to say. You're like, you're super into this. Hey, Jade. I am well. Hope that you're going well as well. Oh. So 
So let us see what is on tap for this boss, as far as abilities go. We have uh, Clutter Needle, we have Chakram uh, Cutter, and we have Volcano Fire, or we can keep Chain Bomb. So what do you guys think? Ideally, we'd want one of these three because there's going to be um, objectives related to them. So Tyrion is saying fire. Zero is saying fire. And K. Kyra is saying fire. All right. Volcano fire it is. And Tyrion is also agreeing. Usually lurking. Unfriendly fronds, tropic woods. This is our wispy woods analog for this game. Ow. It also does the wispy woods thing of blowing us away. Oh, and the fire actually does take damage. Well, more dots then, hey. Alright, halfway through. I'm just riding that sweet, sweet bandwagon. By the way, K. Cairo, since you're here, and since I was thinking about it earlier this stream, but didn't really say anything, um, how much are we allowed to say about the little event that we're going through right now? Okay, got gotcha, gotcha. I I have said extremely little. I just pretty much said that there is a thing. Clear within two minutes. Interesting. Destroy Tropic Woods roots. My next portion should be arriving in a similar time frame. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> the big thing at the end of the thing. <laughs> like, I know exactly what you're talking about. No one else has any clue. But be on the lookout viewers for a thing. So we can now upgrade the ranger ability. And we also have this dude. Why is Waddle D has arrived in town? He'll give you tips to find missing blueprints and a whole lot more. How do you do? They call me Wise Waddle D. After I landed here, I found this mysterious book. It lists the locations of undiscovered blueprints. It also collects high scores and tons of other info from all over the world. If you'd like to know more, I'd be happy to share. You haven't missed any blueprints so far. If I read up about a new, a new blueprints location, I'll help you find it. So far you've saved 75 Waddle Dees, and the combined total Saved all over the world is 
247 Waddle, Dee Waddle Dees. The number of star coins you've collected so far is 3,838. And the combined total of star coins collected all over the world is 15,226,334,361. Would you like to hear more? Sure, lay it on me. Hey. Okay. I've defeated 156 out of 375 million of woofies. Today's top trend is volcano fire. Man, this game keeps stats. Oh, let's go Evolve Ranger. He has the famous nose nose to read D. And this text is pretty much always gonna be the same. Your mom keeps stats. Your face keeps stats, Taryn. Good to know that we've uh, we've gotten all of the blueprints so far. I mean. Noble Ranger. Alright, so now we, now we can double fire. Also, it looks like we have found all of the abilities. At least there doesn't seem to be a space for any more, so... We don't have to be on the lookout for any additional abilities. Oh, that was cool. All right. I am down with that. Hmm. Actually, we only have 35 minutes left. I don't think we're going to have the time to actually finish World 3. But you know what? Let's let's do our best here. One Daria remains. Alright, uh, I did leave behind a rift because I was trying to save time. Uh, this, this one here, Volcano Fire Treasure. Light him up! Lantern switches. Dang it. And I'm away. There we go. Like the friggin' rollers in uh, Link to the Past. <laughs> ah, baby, don't hurt me. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Large Gordos, Long Boys, or Girls, there's no real way to tell with almost anything in this series. Alright. Oh, it's an amusement park! There are so many rides here! I can't wait! 
Four hidden D's. What is reality? <laughs> Let's at least get started with World 3. Well, hello there. Are you sure you want to follow me? This might not be a good idea. Oh, okay. I found two of them. Here's another one. And there's four. Ah. There you go. Oh, money. I will accept your payment. You would laugh if Solid Snake appeared. Wait, what? What are you doing in this game? I'll say this, it's a lot easier to eventually, like, figure out and practically natively read the, um, like, the special written language in this game compared to Tunic. Um, and I'm not gonna spoil what the trick is for figuring out the language in Tunic. But I will say this, it's not just a, um, it's not just letter substitution, like it is in this game. In, the, in this game, like, you saw the, the opening song, and the lyrics were written in both English and the, um, the language of this land. And there are exactly as many characters in both. Well, this is literally just a substitution cipher, which yeah, it's fine. This is this is a game kind of intended for everyone, so they're not going to make it super complicated to to figure out that particular aspect of it. Also, hey, is there anything else on this side? Possibly. Yeah, there's a switch. And... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, geez. Alright, this is timed. Lost my ability. Not too worried about it. I'm in a box. I'm trying to get around the guards, but I'm dumb and thick. And the clap in my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. That one should stay open since that was a blue switch. Ow! Alright. You got some hammer. Sure. Also, both of these are yellow starters. So they're probably both leading to the next room, just this one's leading to a different spot in it. I'm not about to die anymore. Alright, so what's the trick here? Okay. So we can tilt to get the things. Oh. 
Oh, god dang it. Oh jeez. Everybody put your hands up! Mandatory screaming! Ah! I can't actually scream because I'm living in an apartment complex. Ah! Oh, I missed that switch. Hopefully that wasn't anything important. Okay, that was something important. Dang it. I press B instead of A. I'm trying it one more time. If I don't get it this time, then I'm gonna just have to come back for this uh, for this D later. So it's going to be on the left. There we go. I wanted to make sure to get that. The, the coins are less important. Another reason you want a house, preferably in your own plot of land separated by at least 10 acres of land. That is a mood, but that is a mood that I can get behind. That is a big uh, hashtag someday moment. Plenty of, plenty of space to hide the bot. I mean, plenty of space to do completely legitimate activities. Yes, that, that's what I meant. Like hiding bodies. Well, that's a legitimate activity, isn't it? Also, I didn't think of those spike bars as Gordos, but it does absolutely make sense. Green. Or is that a cupcake? I think that was a cupcake actually. Please don't mind the suspicious DIY shooting range and army I have. Cause, Cause you live in the south. Take out the recycling, by which I mean destroy. I'm gonna destroy the recycling. We definitely need to get a maintenance crew around here. Look at all this mess. Huh. Okay, mouthful on a pipe that's gushing water. 
I mean, that wasn't gonna go any other way. So we've, we're basically uh, Katamari now. So we're basically playing Super Mario Sunshine. All right. You just have an unlimited amount of water. Because we're not getting any smaller, I don't think. So water the plants. There's just an unlimited amount until we uh, end mouthful mode, apparently. Had too much Taco Bell recently. Don't mind me, just casual destruction of uh, of this abandoned property. Yeah, nothing major. flower. Oh, there it is. Ooh, and we get a blueprint. Just another day in Detroit. Toy hammer? That seems like a downgrade. Let's be honest here. Oh. Can you please not, sir? Hmm. And there's like little fountains there. Oh my goodness. I also need to remember I have the uh wait, do I yeah I still do. I still have the thing that lets me do the thing. show up. Cause that's what Kirby does. Okay, how are you not drowned? Like in every other Kirby game, Waddle Dees are water are water soluble. Do I just need to like go up here? Ah, gotcha. Uh, anything else around here? Nope. Yeah, so we got two of these secret goals, and we also need to view, uh, in view the joy. Enjoy the view from the top of the rocket? Hmm. Maybe it's just like jump on the rocket and just like take a second. Jab hog. Charge those points up, then zing, let him fly. Jab hog is famous in the new world for its spiky spines. They were short and cute when it was young, but eventually grew into dangerous needles. It'll jab anything that gets too close, so approach with caution. 
car. This is a car, nothing special. Wild Frosty. This myster the mysterious vo vortex brought Mr. Frosty to the New World too. He arrived shortly before Kirby and immediately joined the Beast Pack. The change in wardrobe must have made it an easy choice. It's tough to be the new guy, but his fellow beasts love working with him. Wild Frosty. Circuit Speedway. Interesting. Once again, one away. Uh, we discover this, though, and this. Let's see if we can discover anything else. Let's head back to town. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, here's another one. Uh, yes, Mr. Frosty is indeed uh, a creature of... Um, oh. A creature from Popstar. Just that uh, he joined the uh, the Beast Gang and had a bit of a makeover as a result. Ah, another rift. Playing the gotcha until you got them. Well, anyone who's been to my stream long enough knows that I like to read things. Which I'm sure you knew that as well. You've been here several times. Pipe Mouth Treasure. Roll and jump. Pipe Rant Path. I think let's do these four rifts. Then we'll do the next stage, and that'll be it for this room. There's still one, um, one full stage remaining in this in this stream. Oh dang! Yep. That was gonna happen. Famous video game character Roland Jumpman. Uh, we probably only have one more shot at this. And down we go. I'll try one more time. Well, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. Um, you made it to almost the end of this stream, so that's not nothing. Hope to see you again. Yikes. Man, this is this is not nothing. Ah. Under jump that. And once again, this is probably the last uh Shot, I'll have this attempt and I didn't jump. Alright. I I admit defeat at this one for now. We'll try again next stream. Whack attack. Hammer trial.
Man, these guys are taking a beating. Wild bonkers. Oh. Nope. 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 Looks like I missed my shot at uh, stun damage. Also, I've kind of lost track of myself here. Hammer versus Hammer is not a good matchup. There we go. Actually, yeah. I, I was gonna say like 10 minutes left, we should probably do the next stage, but at the same time I started 15 minutes late. Needle treasure, roll on, needle road. This straight up feels like Katamari, but not really. Two separate Katamari references in one non-Katamari game. And one last one, Ringmouth. With gusto, turn the windmills. Actually have to jump for these. Oh, that says, uh, this is a thing. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Got the target time too. Just under. Alright, the last stage of the stream. Circuit Speedway. Four hidden D's and three other things. And probably some racing. Anything over here? Nope. Yep, that sure looks like a, like a racetrack over there. I think the 
it's the first time we got cars since, uh... Since the beginning of the game, eh? Anyway, let's take our marks. Let's go. And naturally, that gives us um, one of the uh, hidden Ds. And we can retry if we want to. Excellent. I really appreciate that mechanic. Like, that's the idea of, like, well, there's literally no way for us to just kind of put you back at the beginning of that, except. In this game, now there is. But the only caveat being, like, um, your stats will go back to what they were, like, at the beginning of the challenge. Now. Yeah. You know Get my belly. I don't have time for your cues. It's a bit hard to not not to make Carby situational. Yeah. Oh, interesting. It's giving us a uh, chain bomb here. Well, specifically, it's giving us bomb. We have chain bomb. gives us a uh, gotcha capsule and this is probably why they want us to have bomb a red door which means it is a challenge room Okay, yeah, the the uh, chain definitely came into play there. Oh, that's that's a nice treat you gave me there. Here we go. Actually, maybe that's a... Like, you're always wondering, like, what's going to be one of the tasks that the game wants you to do, right? Oh, just in time. That was right on the borderline. And we got Gigant Sword Blueprint. I think we've seen that in another game. Actually. I hear Waddle D, but I don't see a Waddle D. That's where you are. Hmm. 
We got a thing. Let's move on. To probably another car segment. Yeah, I figured as much. We got double the time for this one, 50 seconds. Didn't take our mark. I've probably already lost, actually. I just realized a huge shortcut I could have taken. Another shortcut, actually. But uh, I took that one, so that's not nothing. Okay, so you're indestructible, gotcha. No bumper cars here. And yeah, we miss it by seven seconds. So my my rule for this playthrough is I'll try everything twice. If I don't get it the first time, I will go ahead and hit the retry star one time. Just kind of keep things moving along a little bit. We, we don't want to be at the same place all night. There we go. There's a time save. There's another time save. Now be on the lookout. Dang. Alright, I don't think I'm getting this one either. And yeah, I actually did worse. Oh well. Boost through the cardboard shortcuts though, we got uh, we got that. That ain't nothing. That's probably gonna be uh, another D that we're leaving behind, but uh we'll be back for that D on our second pass through. Well, I do want to get 100% eventually. Yeah, three Ds out of four. Reach the first race's goal within 20 seconds. All right. The gauntlet has been laid down for uh, the second pass. Buffahorn. Behold, it's the brutal, brutish Buffahorn. That's some alliteration right there. Weak attacks won't stand a chance against this critter's forward tackle. Good thing to have a hard time stopping. If you're careful, you can trick them into running off cliffs. They'll be okay down there. They're real tough. Sure. What's this? A libel mall sign. This is this was the logo for Alivo Mall, owned by the Alivo Holding Company. Making life even livelier was their corporate slogan. They ran a, a wide range of biz businesses, entertainment, arenas, food shops, service industries. Now the remains of those businesses can be found in all kinds of places, empty and alone. And Shotso. Just Shotso, nothing else. That's all we need to know, it's shot so. Huh. 
That's our outlook for how we're going to start our next stream. And also with these rifts. I feel like there probably also is a rift like here. So before we finish, um, let's go ahead and head back to Waddle D Town. We're going to upgrade that uh, that ability with the blueprint that we got. Yes, I know. We can evolve the hammer ability and the sword ability. And make them into a hammer sword. Probably not. Also, I, this is just me wondering out loud. I do wonder if there is like a further evolution of these or if it's just the one. If you know, please don't tell me. I will find out as I play. Ooh, that big sword. That's like... That's like the analog of the big Goron sword from Ocarina of Time. Let's go try it out. Oh, it's definitely slower though. You know what? It's okay. It's a big giant sword and I love it. Uh, and, uh, hammer. Un and unfortunately for Tyrion, we don't have an upgrade for ice yet. Kirby cosplaying as a big sword mini boss. It is pretty good. So hammer has evolved into toy hammer. All right. So it charges up three levels. That's a pretty good amount of damage, too. Okay, so five, uh, five mash chain attack. And I think it's also a wider uh, impact area, too. All right. Well, this has been a pretty good, um, pretty a uh, pretty good starting look at this game. I am super into this, and I wish that I could just keep playing this. But um, I am doing a blind playthrough, so playing it on my own accord would kind of go against that. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. So I want to thank y'all for watching. We had a big group today. We had uh, Tyrion, we had Zero, we had J-Pop, uh, we had Donut, we had Jade. Uh, I think that's everyone. Oh, K Kairos. Yes. Uh, so if you want to hang around, I am going to go ahead and raid Jade since he was here earlier. He's playing Final Fantasy VII, the original Final Fantasy VII, mind you. The next scheduled stream is tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. or later, Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle where we are going to be doing some more uh, rando stuff. And we are going to be doing it with um, the new version of Archipelago that just came out. Um, so that adds a couple of games to the, uh, to the listing, so that's gonna be pretty cool. 
Uh, next stream after that is going to be our normal uh, long run stream where we're going to probably be finishing cross code. And that brings us round week, round wheel to our next extra long run stream where we are going to continue our look at uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. There's also going to be a stream tomorrow at 4 p.m. Atlantic time that is going to be part of the Super Smash TV tournament. Uh, it is going to be the first round of the tournament. I'm going to be playing against Prince Leaf. Um, most of the action is going to be ha happening over at GG underscore speedruns, but uh, I will be streaming my end as is required by the competition, so um, feel free to hang, it, hang by both areas and uh, get your game on. So yeah, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all once again for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.